This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Cassidra Good Tibbs from Arthur Hill High School, part of the Saginaw Public Schools. Congratulations, we have a video from your nominator. Let's take a look. We chose Ms. Tibbs for the Excellent in the Education Award because she always makes staff and students her number one priority. In addition, she always makes herself available so that way her staff and students can always voice their concerns. Aww. <laughs> What went through your mind as we were watching that? Wow. Um, well, first, that it, it just makes me feel full um, that my students thought enough of me to do that. So um, I expected it to be a teacher, um, which would have been great. But um, it, it makes my heart warm to know that my students feel that way about me. Yeah. Well, talk a little bit about your interaction with students. You're not a teacher. You're a principal. But yes. you still have that critical interaction with students. I do. Um, it's very important to me. I was in the classroom for 20 years. Um, but it's really important to make connection with students because that's why I'm there every day. They are my inspiration. So I make it a point um, to get out into the hallways, out into the classrooms, and make connections with students because that's, that's why I'm there every day. Tell me about how you make connections with the teachers and, and support them. Uh, well, again, I'm out and about. So I'm walking the hallways up and down the stairs um, and just checking in with them, taking any opportunity that I can to meet with them, ask them how I can support them, supporting our students, um, just checking in. I visit classrooms to do observations, but they're more so just to make connections and see who the people are that are making that everyday um, connection with students and working with them. I know as a principal, you're not only leading teachers, but you're leading the school. So talk a little bit about what it's like to be a principal. Well, first it's to wear many hats. So it's like being a jack of all trades. Um, there are a lot of components and being a school leader, the biggest part again is that support and making sure that everyone there has what they need to be successful. So again, it's about building relationships. Um, obviously you have to know the curriculum and the content and all the mechanical parts of making the job happen. Um, but it's about supporting individuals and making sure that everyone knows that we have a common vision, reminding everyone why we're there. And then again, just building those relationships and supporting each other. Yeah. Tell me about that interaction with the kids. I know that you build the relationships mm -hmm. and, and you're talking to them. Is that what it's about, being in the hallway and just asking them about their day? Um, part of it, yes. So um, just talking to them. Um, again, during passing time, I talk to them, ask them how their day go is going, ask them what how their weekend was. Um, students are pretty open. They share a lot. And so just, again, getting to know them as individuals and not just students in a building. And then um, that's also reciprocated. When they ask me questions, um, I talk to them about things that they would like to know about me. There's a specific story you have with one of your nominators. Tell us about that. Yes, so Terry Bell, the gentleman in the video, um, was one of the first students that I met when I came to Arthur Hill three years ago. And we were, um, it was lunchtime and they were passing through and he asked to speak with me. And so um, I said, of course. And so he said, um, very respectfully, Ms. Tibbs, I would like to let you know um, that we don't like you here very much. And we think you're making a lot of changes and that's not the way we're used to things at Arthur Hill. So, um, you know, perhaps you should maybe go back to your other school. And so um, he was very respectful and I was just happy that students were starting to talk to me. So um, I told him, I said, well, I, I thank you for sharing your opinion, I said. And um, you did so very respectfully, but but I said I would just, you know, offer the advice for you to give me a chance because it's pretty early on in the school year. We're just coming back here after COVID, I said, and so there's a lot of change anyway. Um, but just give it a few months before you make a decision about how you feel about me. I said, and you know, maybe you'll change, maybe it'll stay the same, but just give me a chance. And so um, in the past few years, Terry has become one of my greatest advocates um, and we have a great relationship. He helps me out around the school and I do everything I can to help him and the other students. But we do have a special relationship um, and I think I've won him over, so. <laughs> I think you have too, what a great story. Yes, thank you. What's it like for you being in a school and seeing a student blossom from the beginning? 
that is that is why I go every day. That is my inspiration and it never gets old. Um, this is my 29th year in education and watching students grow and learn and knowing that I can be a part of their development and helping them to become them best, their best selves um, is, is, is why I go every day. So um, it is fulfilling. Um, it is a job, but it's more than a job. Um, it is something that is really making a difference and I love it. You know, I know being a principal is all hours of the day <laughs> and sometimes the night. How do you how do you handle when it's just like all the time, 24 seven? What do you do to refresh? Um, it, it is very busy and all encompassing. Um, I try to stay cognizant to strike a balance between home and work and family. Um, but, you know, school becomes part of that family. And so um, like to exercise and like to bake and do things in my downtime, but um, do spend a lot of time at school, but I enjoy it. It's my home away from home, so. Well, congratulations. Thank you again. Casidra from Arthur Hill High School receives a $2,000 check from the Michigan Lottery. Excellence in Education Awards sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $27 billion to public education since 1972.